question number 22, 20, 2022, KCSE Mathematics Paper 1. And we are told the diagram below is a sketch of two curves. Y is equals to 2x squared plus 1 and y is equals to x squared plus 1 drawn on the same grid. So we have our grid here. We have two curves. Y is equals to 2x uh, squared plus 1 and the other one is y is equals to x squared plus 1. We have our x axis, y axis. Uh, part A. Using the trapezium rule with five stripes, estimate the area bounded by the curves y is equals to 2x squared plus 1, y is equals to x squared plus 1, and the lines x is equals to 0, and x is equals to 5. So trapezium rule, uh, we estimate the area by saying one, uh, this is a is equals to a half. Uh, then you add the last ordinates. That is uh, y zero plus y n, and then you add to the sum of the uh, the ordinates. That is uh, two uh, y. 1 plus y, 2 plus y plus y per n. So that's the formula. So the area that we are interested in is actually this area here. This is the area bounded by the two uh, functions. So this is the area that we are interested in. Uh, let's see that. So that is the area. So what you need to do is to get the areas bounded by the upper curve, that is y is equals to 2x squared plus 1. We subtract the area bounded uh, by y is equals x squared plus 1. Then we will be able to get the area that is required. So we can do that by making uh, our, our, our table here. We can make a table. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, we have uh, four color, four rows here. Uh, those are four rows. Then we have. So since we are told to find the area bounded by from x is equal to zero, x is equal to five. Uh, we start with uh, let's uh, draw our graph. So we have. Our this is uh, this will give us uh, this will be the value of x. We need to add another column here. Uh, so that's another column there. Another another row rather, not column. Uh, then this is our x. Then we have y is equals to two x squared plus one. Then we have y is equals to uh, this is uh, y this is y one this is y two this is x squared plus one then here we have our y is equals to uh, y that is y one minus y two so this will give us uh, uh, the difference between the two uh, so if you look at uh, so we take our x from 0 to 5, so we have uh, at the 0, we have 1, uh, 2, 3, 5. So this is, you have uh, our 0, 1, 2, 3, and uh, then we can add one here, we can add one here. So you have a uh, 4, 5. Uh, so we substitute when x is 0 uh, then we have uh, y is this y 0 here you have 1 when x is 1 then you have 3 when x is uh, this will be 3 plus 4 plus 1 that is uh, 2 squared is uh, is 4 4 times 2 is 8 then we get plus 1 you get 9 uh, here you get 19. You substitute 3 in our first function here. Uh, here we will get uh, 33 and here we get 51. Um, 
from there we come to y is equal to x squared plus 1. When x is 0, then we have y is equal to 1. When x is, uh, uh, that is when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, then you have this is 2. When x is uh, 4, we have 5. We substitute here. Uh, then when x is uh, 3, we have this is 10. When x is 4, we have 17. Then we have, finally we have 26. Then we subtract y1 minus y2. So 1 minus 1 is a 0. Then we have uh, 3 minus 2, we have 1. Uh, 9 minus 5, we have 4. Uh, 19 minus 10, you have 9. 33 minus 17, we have 16. And finally, we have 51 minus 26. That will give us 25. So from there, now we can apply the uh, we can apply the trapezium rule. So we say area is equals to a half. We take the first and the last ordinate. So we have a zero. We are substituting this formula. Zero plus twenty-five. Close. The, here we have a bracket or braces. Uh, here we have plus. Now this is two. Uh, we add this is uh, 1 plus 4 uh, plus 9 plus 16 and we close the bracket so using your calculator uh, you should be able to 0 uh, this will be 5 14 plus 16 that will be 30 30 times uh, 260 then we have uh, this is uh, here we have uh, 4, we have 9, we have 16, 25. So when you add this, you should be able to get 42 and a half square unit. That is, this is 5, 14. That is uh, 14, that will give you 30. Uh, then you have 30, we have... Uh, times 2 that will give us uh, what that will give us 60 uh, then we have uh, plus 25 that will give us 60 that is 85 you divide by 2 you get 842 and a half so that's that's area square units uh, part b using the mid ordinate rule uh, Estimate the area bounded by the curve y is equals to 2x plus 1 and y is equals to x squared plus 1 and the lines x uh, is equals to 0 and x is equals to 5. Uh, so what we do here is uh, uh, we are going to the, the mid ordinate rule we have uh, area is equals to uh, height that is uh, the width you multiply by the sum of the midpoints. So we have plus y, 2 plus uh, y, uh, that is plus, plus y to, to uh, y n. So we need to come up with a table. Uh, so let's draw a table. Again, we draw another table. Uh, uh, let's hope with this space will be enough. So we have, uh, this is our, okay, this is, uh, change that. Uh, so this is our table. Uh, we have one, we have two. We have uh, three. We have uh, four. And finally we have five. So we divide it like that. So this is where we have our values. Let's change this. Let's add this one. Then we have our columns. So this is a zero, a one. Uh, let's do it properly. This is a one, two. Three. This is uh, three. We have four, 
and we have five. Uh, so we fill our 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 table here. So here we have x. Here we have uh, y one is equals two x squared plus one. We have y two is equals two x squared plus one. We are still getting the same area uh, the way we have done with part A. And finally we have uh, y1 that is y is equals to y1 y1 uh, y2 minus y uh, that should be y uh, that should be y that is y1 minus y2. Okay. So the midpoint here, we substitute when x is 0 0.5, this is uh, 0 1.5, uh, let's do that again here, we have, uh, this is there, we, this is at the midpoint, uh, this is when x is 2.5, uh, when x is 3.5, and when, when uh, x is 3.5. 4.5 so those are the values that we are substituting so, so if you say uh, x is 0 0.5 then uh, we substitute here this is 0 0.5 times squared that is uh, 1 over 4 1 over 4 times 2 is a half 1 a half plus 1 is 1 1.5 uh, then this is uh, 1.5 you just substitute the value of 0 0.5 you substitute in y that is 0 0.5 squared plus 1 and uh, so we have uh, this is uh, when x is 1.5 then we have uh, x is 2.5 x is 3.5 and we have uh, x is 4.5 you don't need this one don't need that all right so we substitute these values, you'll be able to get this is a uh, 5.5, this is a uh, 13.5, then we have 25.5, <coughs> we have 41.5, 41.5. We do the same to y is equals to x squared plus 1. So here you get, uh, you can use your calculator, this is 3.25, uh, then we have 7.25. Then we have uh, 13.25, then we have 21.25.25, then you, sub you substitute, uh, you subtract 1.5 minus 1.25, you get it is 0 0.25, uh, here you get uh, 2.25, you subtract 5.5 minus 3.25, then we have uh, 6.25 then we have 12.25 and uh, then we have 20.25 so those are the values that we uh, those are the difference between when you use the first function and the second function so you can now get the area area is equals to it is one the width is one that is zero to one uh, then you put the bracket, you add this uh, midpoint, the midpoint, the difference of the midpoint of the two function, and that will give you uh, 0 0.25 uh, plus 2.25, then plus 6.25, then you have plus 12.25, and finally we have 20.25. So you add and you multiply by 1, you will be able to get the area between the two curves and you add up this, you get it is 41 and a quarter as square units. So that's how you get the area. So you can see the, the difference. Uh, that is uh, when you use the mid-ordinate rule, it is more accurate than when you use a trapezium rule and that by doing that then you should be able to get five parts for part a and five marks for part b